Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Steph Storm. In today's video, I want to share with you how I created a transitional yet hidden home office right here in my living room. If you'd like this kind of content, keep watching. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, a lot of you know that I sold most of my furniture. There was nothing wrong with it. It was in great condition. I was just ready for a change. And this sturdy cabinet was being used in another part of my home, but I decided to keep it and repurpose it. Now this piece was intended to be used as a TV stand or some sort of entertainment center, and it was going to need some work. Um, I knew I wanted to take off the old contact paper and replace that. It was covering up some old caning. Um, I knew I wanted to paint it over again. I would have to do some sanding and some cleaning on it. Um, but overall, I just wanted to freshen it up. It's a great piece and it's made of solid wood. So I knew it was going to be good for the purpose that I wanted to use it for now. On the inside of the cabinet, you can see that I took away the shelves that were in there. I wanted to clean and paint the inside of the cabinet and brighten it up. And I also needed to remove the backing from the cabinet because I wouldn't need that anymore either. Since I was going from a very dark furniture finish to a very light paint color, I decided to use a really good primer, and this one is Styx by Benjamin Moore. This primer will prepare the surface so that I won't have to put on as many layers of the new paint. Whenever I have a project like this, I just put the music on and get to it. Speaking of music, my spotlight song for this video is Chitlin's Con Carn by Kenny Burrell. It's an old classic that came out back in the 70s. If you've never heard it before, check it out. It's one of my favorites. Since I've got the brushes and paint out, I might as well work on a DIY art piece. I already had this 24 by 36 blank canvas and I will be using some leftover paints that I've had from other projects from around my house. As you can see, I have not spent any money on this transformation so far. So my first step is to paint the entire canvas a fresh bright white. Even though this canvas has never been used before for painting, um, it kind of comes in like a cream color or an off-white, and I wanted it to be a very bright white with a fresh, clean slate for me to start my color palettes. Now, I have no idea what I am going to paint. I figured I would just, you know, kind of try my hand at doing some abstract art. I usually have a hard time with this because it usually starts to look like something and then I start to make it into whatever it looks like. So we'll see what happens. Mm. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I think I'll have a slice of this homemade banana nut bread. Painting and sewing are some of my favorite things to do whenever it's cold and rainy outside. What about you? Leave me a comment down below. What are some of your hobbies or interests that you do during the bad weather to keep you occupied and entertained? Okay, paint's dry. Let's go ahead and get back to work. In my mind, 
I envisioned myself just kind of painting on this canvas using all of the colors that I have currently in my living room, but still keeping this artwork basically on the neutral side. Um, like I mentioned, I don't know what I want to paint, but I just want to kind of blend the colors together and use a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of metallic, and just see what comes out. You see what I'm doing here? Just some random brush strokes up and down. You don't have to be a professional in order to make artwork, especially abstract art. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and I behold that this is starting to look like some office buildings or a cityscape. Yep, when I stood back and took a look at this, I said, mm-hmm, you're an office building now. And that's what I went with. So I started painting these little silver metallic windows on some of the buildings. Can you see it? And here is how my DIY abstract cityscape turned out. I hung it on the wall behind my repurposed cabinet. You're probably thinking, I thought this was an office in a living room video. Where is the office? This is it. This is my desk. Everything I need for work fits right inside of this cabinet. And I'm gonna show you how this desk transitions from desk to cabinet, from cabinet to desk. You see, I wanted a piece of furniture in my living room that would not always look like I was having an office in my living room. I wanted to be able to tuck it away and hide it whenever I had company. Watch how it takes less than five minutes to hide everything and transition from office back to a living room space. This is how I have all of my office equipment stored inside the cabinet, including the office chair. Also note that I did not have to unplug anything. Everything stays plugged in and all of the cords are hidden. To easily slide the furniture up against the wall, I use these felt furniture pads underneath the cabinet. This will also prevent the cabinet from scratching up the floors. Now it just looks like furniture. You would never know this was my workspace unless you watch this video. Let me show you what else this can become. If I open the front doors, I can just take out the stool 
And now this furniture piece can transition into a bar. I love the versatility of this piece and I love it when my furniture gives me options. Everything doesn't always have to look the same or function the same. And bar stools are so much fun to spin. Well, happy hour is over. Time to get back to work. Let's turn this furniture slash bar back into a home office. When I have a long day of work editing videos, I like to be as comfortable as possible. So I will put on some soft, loose fitting, flowing loungewear or pajamas. <laughs> and I like for my environment to be very clean. I like to light a candle so that it smells good. And I also like to put on some really relaxing lo-fi music. On the television. Let me show you what I mean. If you have a Roku, go to Spotify. It's a free streaming service. They do have a paid version, but you don't have to use that. Once you get to Spotify, type in the search box Lo-Fi. Lo-Fi music is the most relaxing background music that you can play for daydreaming, for working, for cleaning around the house. Although for cleaning, I actually prefer more livelier music, but for working, this is just perfect. It's so soothing. Eventually, I do plan to go wireless with all of my equipment, but for now, this works just fine. It's convenient for me to have this cup warmer on my desk. It really keeps my hot coffee or my hot tea hot all day long. And I love to drink hot tea whenever I have to do voiceovers. I also keep this mirror and marble box on my desk because it holds my eyeglasses, my chapstick, my ink pens, and my charging cord for my phone. Because I removed the backing from this cabinet, I have plenty of room to stretch out my legs when I'm sitting at the desk. This is a view from behind the desk. Whenever you have to sit at a desk for long periods of time, it's good to be able to stretch your legs and change positions. I definitely want to keep the circulation moving. And when I get tired of sitting, I simply slide the stool back underneath the desk and it becomes a sit standing desk. I can stretch my legs, I can move around, and I can just keep on working right on through. I am really enjoying my new home office space out here in the living room. I feel like I can be very productive and creative in this space. And I hope that you enjoyed watching. Leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you think and if you would like to maybe try something like this in your own space. I hope you got some inspiration from it. Come back and see me again and I'll give you a full room tour with the new furniture, new artwork, and a new way of enjoying my small space. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos on interior decorating and special events decor. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.
but before you go, consider watching these videos next.